come to browse the training in Liquid Solution. If you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at browsetraining.org. We're here to help you to nail down the, your next biggest offer. And uh, if you if you like, you feel free to check us uh, subscribe to our WeChat blog right here, where we would constantly publish in some tech and uh, Nicole interview related topics. So today we're going to talk about a uh, number two at two numbers problem. This is essentially a very simple problem. Um, unlike you know, like two integer add or multiply like string, uh, two string rep representation of integers ma ma uh, add or multiply. So they give you two linked list. So make, to make things easier, this is actually following the natural order, not the natural order, but the linked list order. So it's like a two plus five equals to seven, and then four plus six equals to 10, then 10, you, you need to carry one. So basically now your, your carry is one. So three plus four, and then plus one, the carry is uh, eight. So this is, this is basically a very typical problem. We call it a two pointers as, as basically we just use two pointers, one point into one list, the other pointer point to the other list. And then uh, don't forget you have to iterate through uh, when one pointer is now um, because one, one list could be essentially longer than the other. And then don't forget, forget you if you have a carry in the, in the beginning, so you have to actually make, make a new note for that carry. Um, so that's two pointers and using a carry, normally you could use a boolean, but using an integer as a carry will actually make things easier. We'll see that later on. And uh, what else for this problem? Oh, uh, using a dummy node also can simplify the implementation. So let's think that's enough said. We should just code it up. First, so if both of if uh, one of them is not the other is not now, we will actually cover this case in the code. So we will only return when both of them is actually now and what we're going to have is we'll have a um um. So this essentially here we use a integer for our carry. What we do is we just do this, I think. So it's the sum mode 10, so you get the last digit and then larger than 10. So if it's a 10, the carry will be 1, 0, so looks correct. So this basically, if you use a boolean, then you have to, if, if, value like this, you set the carry, so there's a, gonna be an if else, uh, it's fine as well. Okay.
Okay. So Okay. So now don't forget about the carry case. Pretty much about it. This is pretty much about it. Let's take a quick look. Both of them equal to now, return now, or else get this one. Current equals to dummy, carry equals to zero. When it's not equal to zero, put them together, get the carry, get the sum, and then current equal the next. So dummy node, at first it pointed to dummy node, right? So then domino dot next to the first node and then the next okay L1 L2 this should be identical. Yeah, looks good to me. Let's see. Okay. So a follow-up would be basically what happens if it's the real order. Like now you have to add three to four first and then four to six and then two seven. But in singular linked list you can't really do that. So one way to do this is to actually reverse the list and then do this and then reverse the result back. So that will solve the problem. Okay, thanks a lot guys for watching. Bye.